audio note. I just finished a 20 minute listening session and I want to talk to the designer about why it moved me so much and why your audio note equipment is so mysteriously at the top of the audio industry and not too many people know why. I'm here with Peter Quattrop, the founder, the iconoclastic audiophile leader of Audio Note UK. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I could be well misunderstood that Peter, what year did you found Audio Note? Sorry? What, what year, year what year did uh, you start the well, company? We started the company started in eighty nine when we uh, when we did the original agreement with Mr. Condo that we could develop products and sell his under the same name. Um, and it's really when we had the separation of the two uh, partners in that partnership in, uh, in 98, we were then free to pursue the course that I'd already already intended for what I was doing with Mr. Congo, but this, this time it was without. There seems to be a philosophy, uh, an audio note, um, a cult uh, surrounding the product, the pricing, I think it's surprising, the, the, I mean, you know full well, Peter, that, uh, that most people can't afford the best equipment we make. That is really, I wouldn't say the select few, but the, 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 there is a small group of people who are willing to pay this kind of money, just like there's a small group of people who are willing to pay very, very serious money for expensive watches or other things of, of an exotic nature. Um, I think the difference with audio equipment is that you can get a much more long-lasting enjoyment out of it if you know what you're doing and you have the right aesthetic and the right interest in music. Now the equipment we have here... Yeah, the payback is enormous. Uh, enormous if you have a large record collection, <clears throat> if you have a large music uh, library, if uh, music has means something to you. Uh, this is a, a company you have to explore. The components we have here today are at the top of the audio note food chain. Uh, could you tell us about the speakers? We'll start there. Well, should we start from the front with the uh, CD player? The CD player is I a always like rather to contradict you. <laughs> I always like to start at uh, the yeah. conclusion. <laughs> 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 Let's look uh, at the CD player. Is basically, this is as good as I think CD replays uh, is ever going to get. We've spent years and, and quite sizable amounts of money developing these things. Uh, the CD player, the, the transport itself is called the CDT6 and it has a separate power supply. It's, most of the power supply is with tubes. Um, there is some transistor power supply in there which is part of the control circuits for the um, server and so on, but the rest is tube. Uh, the output uses a tube, uh, an, EF86, uh, an EF800 and Every effort has been made to uh, to try and make the uh, the uh, conditions that the m mechanism reads under as beneficial as possible. The chassis is made of solid copper. The uh, the the unit weighs somewhere in the region of 70 kilograms, which is what 140 pounds uh, between the power supply and the uh, and the main unit. Um, that then feeds uh, through a specially designed cable, um, the fifth element DAC, which is the current top of the range DAC. We will have a DAC further up the food chain, which will be fully discrete 24 bit, um, but that is still in progress because that is a big job and it will take a long time. The preamp is the uh, brand spanking new M10 line signature which now sits as our top line preamp. The two power supplies are down there. There are two tubes in the preamp, as you saw when you were in the, uh, at the factory. Each power supply feeds one tube. And the power each supplies each are... The power supply has six tubes in it. They're the size of a pair of monoblock amplifiers. They're the size of a pair of yeah. good size yeah, good size. amplifiers. Um, we have two international patents on that. Uh, on the circuit in those power supplies. Well, we'll break here because we're going to take uh, a next look at the amplifiers and the speakers. We'll take a short break and we'll be right back.